unboxing time, unboxing time. Won't you see this unboxing of mine? Sorry, I'm very excited. My new monitor has come. This is the uh, Odyssey G7 Ultra HD 4K, 144 hertz, etc., etc. But I am very excited. So enough for the foreplay. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so I have purchased with my own money the Samsung Odyssey G7 LS 28AG 700NUXXU 4K gaming monitor. God damn. Why do these model numbers have to be so fucking long? Ugh. This is to replace my uh, my current monitor, which is the Samsung LU28E590DS 4K gaming monitor. This is going from a 4K uh, 60Hz TM panel to a 4K 144 IPS panel. So let's have a look. What we got here? Uh, I don't know. So wires. Uh, I wonder if it comes with HDMI. I can't actually see one. Uh, so what we got? So power brick, display port cable, and some sort of instructions. Don't see a HDMI cable, which is annoying because it probably means I'm gonna have to buy a 2.1 cable. Well, that's another thing to put on the list. Uh, what else have we got in here? Let's put it to the side. What's this? Uh, some kind of panel. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Right, so back panel. We've got a back panel here. Uh, we'll open these up and have a look properly. Let's have a look. If I can bloody get into it, there we go. So yeah, so power brick, two parts of it, the brick and the cable, fine, usual. Yeah, display port cable and USB. So yeah, no HDMI, gonna have to buy one of them. Let's just double check this display port, yep. Yeah, so that's annoying. But it's fine, I mean, at least they included that. Uh, looks like to be, what is that? What is that? It has to be some kind of mount. Oh, it must be a mount for the monitor. So you put that to one side. Ah, diffuser for the light. So this actually has uh, lights around the back of it for, and it's not ambi light, but it's kind of in the same vein. It's a base for the stand. Oh, forgot something. What's this? Oh, it's heavy, it's so it really is. There we go. Right, so okay, so this is the back part of the stand. Very weighty. Uh looks like we've got some kind of cable management there. Yeah, decent. Finally to the main prize. So if I just get this out of the way. Right, so here we go. So get this out of the way. So this bit at the back here, this circle bit around here, that's where the backlight is. So this diffuser part that we saw earlier, this goes onto the back of it like this. And just I guess just turn it, go, and then it just kind of diffuses the light. Not sure how good it is, but we have to see. So buttons, guessing for menu, power. Very clicky, very, very clicky. It's always a good thing. And then you've got two HDMIs. Let's see if you get a bit look at these. So two HDMIs, uh, display port, power, three USBs, and headphone jack. Let's have a flip this over. That is a monitor. I have seen monitors before. <laughs> I can confirm that this is a monitor.
that's the good stuff. All right, so I mean, looks to be pretty good size. Let's uh, set it all up and do a quick comparison. Okay, so here on the left, you've got the 60 hertz TN Samsung panel, the old one I was using. And on the right, we've got the new Fandangle Odyssey G7 4K Ultra HD, blah, blah, blah. So they're both playing Call of Duty Warzone on the PS5. Obviously, this is YouTube, so the difference in hertz and frames per second is not really going to translate over too much but hopefully some of it will and also you'll be able to hopefully tell a little bit the differences in color palettes and color quality one week later okay so one week on and this has happened don't know if you can see this here but one two two dead pixels inside of a week now I googled this, um, trying to fix it. I tried this site right here, left that overnight. That didn't work. Apparently in the US you're allowed up to six dead pixels um, before they'll qualify it as 40. We don't play that over here in the UK. We don't play that shit, okay? So I'm taking this back right now uh, and hopefully we'll get one that hasn't got the pixels on. One week later. Okay, and another week later. So we've got the new panel back, put it back on the wall, and it seems to be playing just fine. When I see sometimes I want to eat my own words. So I say it's playing just fine. This has happened. What the fuck is this? I don't know what is going on with it. It was playing perfectly fine. I was playing Call of Duty, and then I finished my game, wanted to watch some YouTube, and this has happened. I don't know what is going on. Okay, so now I've reset the console and it seems to be working again perfectly fine. Don't know what that was about. Still no dead pixels at present, touch wood. But I will keep you updated if anything does happen. Moving forward, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. Don't forget to ring the notification bell for any notifications when new videos go up. And hopefully, I'll catch you in the next one.